Whenever I get a new vehicle, there's a couple of things I do right off the bat. I go underneath the car and I'll spray down all the frame rails, everything under the car, especially getting in any of these holes. Make sure you knock off all of the salt and other chemicals that is picked up from road service. I'll also spray the interior of this engine compartment wherever there's rust just to get any chemicals off. I'll do a full washing of the top of the vehicles using an auto soap of some sort. After that, I'll take it for a drive just to let it dry out as much as I can. And then I'll usually wait overnight before I start treating paint chips and also treating the undercarriage of this car. Finally, after all of that is done, put a nice coat of wax all over this car, treat the headlights so that they're nice and clear. I'll treat any plastic areas with UV protectant. I look for all the windshield chips and get those repaired. You might be wondering why I decided to start with the outside of this vehicle. The way I look at it, the elements will continue to erode this vehicle over time, protect the outside, and then work on everything else. I wanted to show you a couple of accessories and why I think it's important that people remove things when they're not necessary. So this is part of a trailer towing package and they left uh, this guy inserted into the trailer hitch here. In order to get this guy out, I had to use a sledgehammer for about five minutes just hammering the snot out of it. What happens is water collects between the insert here and the trailer hitch and it just sits there and rusts out. Um, this is an exhaust pipe extension. It makes it look a little bit different. It's kind of chromed out. But if you leave this on again, same thing happens. You get trapped water and look at what happens to the end of your exhaust pipe. So you can see exactly where that thing was attached and where it wasn't. Where it wasn't has very light surface rust, which is normal, but where that uh, water and sometimes salt gets trapped, it really takes its toll on that metal. Before proceeding to wash down your car, if you have a water softener, make sure you turn it to bypass so you don't get any salt water on your car. All right, let's get spraying this thing down. All right, the whole undercarriage and the en engine bay have been rinsed nice and, uh, nice and clean. Most of those chemicals and salts off, and that's really what we're looking for here. Here's the engine bay. You can see I took some care to make sure it didn't splash too far around. I uh, don't want to get all the electricals wet, but just enough to make sure that those areas that have the worst corrosion uh, have been rinsed of any chemicals. Here's the car wash I'm going to be using. Rinse your car off thoroughly to get any crud off of it. Wash the entire car. I like starting at the top surfaces and then working my way down. After thoroughly soaping up your car, rinse it off. Grab a dry rag and squeegee all the water off. Now going for a quick drive to dry it off and make sure any water in the undercarriage has been shaken out. I like to take it up to about 50 or 60 miles an hour to make sure that air blows all the water off. The Let the FJ sit overnight so that all that water, any water that might have seeped in, will have dried out before working on the paint chips and undercoating the car. Now it's time to fix all the rock chips and scratches. And there are a lot of them. You can see them all over the hood here. Little pits from rocks over the years. I'm gonna use this Duplicolor Touch-Up Universal Silver paint pen to fix the little chips in the paint. Should happen over the next 30 minutes or so. Pretty good product, I've used it before. Main thing is just trying to prevent and seal any rust from getting up under the paint chips. Here's how these little touch-up applicators work. It's got like a little depressible pin tip up here. And what you do is you press down on where you're trying to fill and little ink bit falls out, filling any uh, chips in your paint. You can see a couple of drops that I applied. What it does is it seals off from additional rust and moisture getting in there. And for this next step, I'm gonna put on some goggles and also a face mask. Here's what I'm using. I'm using fluid film. It's well known to protect against rust. It'll be a messy job cleaning up the engine bay afterwards, but it's worth it to stop this rust. So you can see I sprayed it all down in here, anywhere that I found rust inside of the engine compartment. Also be spraying this on the whole underside, including within the rails, and that shall make world a difference to stop any potential rust from starting. Uh, this is about a one year treatment or one winter treatment. With this fluid film, I'm going to methodically spray all exposed metal surfaces, including the inside through these holes. Now there's a special attachment that I'm gonna put on this that actually is about a 22 inch long wand that sprays in all directions and you shove it into those holes and you make sure you coat everything. 
So here we go. I'm just going to start spraying on the outside. If you've done it right, you should have used about three full cans for the exterior of all the parts underneath and about three full cans on the interior of all the tubes and frame rails. Being a natural lanolin product, these have a really unique smell. Your undercarriage should have a nice coating of this fluid film everywhere that, that there is metal. I also recommend putting a tarp or something underneath your vehicle. You can see I chose not to, and you can see the lines of fluid film here. I'm gonna use this mother's California gold to wax my car. Take a big chunk of it on your application pad here, and then rub it into your paint in a circular motion. Once the wax had time to dry, wipe it off with a clean dry cloth. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of this Meguiar's Ultimate Black Plastic Restore to all the black plastic parts and rubber trim. Just apply a little bit to your plastic with a towel, and you wipe off the excess with a dry towel. Pretty easy. So you can see on the left hand side here is where I put that plastic restore. And here's some plastic that has not yet been treated. I'll treat this so you can kind of see that difference. Here it is after I've applied a little bit of that plastic restore to this section here. You can definitely see the difference. What this does is it protects it from UV and also has a nice little shine. I'm finally done. Started at 7.30 this morning. It is now 2 in the afternoon, but it's looking pretty nice. I didn't get to polish the headlights, so I'll do that in the next video. Uh, so that I can see better at night, but it's looking really quite nice all waxed up Got that protectant on all the plastic and the underside has that wonderful fluid film to protect it from rust This is ready to be worked on for real if I look a little tired That's probably because I am it's well over 95 degrees right now in Kentucky, but this FJ cruiser is worth it So let's keep working Please subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. I'll see what I can do to make more. I've got to say, I smell awful. That's okay because I've got my socks and sandals on.